Warning. Per the Central Intelligence Agency, the First Amendment, right to free speech and public assembly, is guaranteed by the Constitution. However, journalism is demanded. It is treason against the United States of America and contraband not to report exactly what's happening. Good morning, America. Uh, in for Robin Roberts, ABC News correspondent, Keisha Marceau Brown. In for Robin Roberts, ABC News correspondent, Keisha Marceau Brown, uh, expert at public policy, racism, and ethnicity, State University of New York College and Empire. I'm here on what is known as Lake Avenue, uh, and what previously was known as Atlanta, and before that was known as Philadelphia, a place that's been the largest port for slavery for uh, at least 500 years. Uh, right now, there's a, a major uh, war excursion against the blacks, and particularly in focus more often than others, other blacks to uh, corrupt each other's incomes, bodies, uh, to avoid Charles Manson and Timothy McVeigh uh, and Kim Jong Un, who, upon sources we believe, may be engaging in some cannibalistic uh, tactics and with chemical warfare and biological weapons to subdue and weather systems to subdue certain blacks or maybe all blacks or children and animals and property, not property, anything in America that sustains what is known as life, including the ocean, is attempting to uh, cause a, a catastrophe or what is known as a tsunami in order to chattel the slaves that he wants to chattel to subdue very, very important people like Oprah Winfrey, Beyonce Knowles, uh, and it's been done before uh, to Michael Jackson, to Prince, uh, and various other people, to subdue them to basic subsistence with nothing where they have to beg a white person to use their own bank account and to stay clean. Uh, they're often uh, what is known as tobacco, wet back. Uh, we know that in, Mar uh, in America, marijuana is illegal. Meaning that if that's my face right there and I say I'm Keisha Marcel Brown and I don't have uh, any type of ailments or I, you have no reason to touch me and they take you away, it's called marijuana. That you don't know who you are. And then you know that this is a miracle. Uh, meaning that you should be able to see yourself on television or in some type of mirror, not a reflection. A reflection is someone that's standing in front of you telling you that you are in fact them. Uh, and as we know, uh, and uh, during the Obama, uh, uh, Obama administration, one of the uh, first acts was uh, Fair Credit Act. I urge everyone to read the Fair Credit Act as it relates to uh, identity theft. Uh, today, I want to talk briefly about terrorism. We know you're here. You're typically known as tourists. You may have stayed here or lived here for some time. However, we consider you to be if you're uh, documented as, no, not just documented, meaning you went into uh, Burger King and got a name tag, is you went to New York State Department of Motor Vehicles, you went to uh, New York State Vital Statistics, which is the uh, federal government's uh, Immigration Nationalization Citizenship Department, and we know who you are or where you started from. And they'll handle the rest because they have the system and the process and the information, the format, the framework to handle the rest of the information. Other than that, if you are committing any crimes here, people won't talk to you if you're a terrorist. How do we know? Profiling. If you look like Timothy McVeigh, you might go to the World Trade Center. Nobody's going to talk to you. But what's happened since 9-11 is not reverse psychology. It's just mastered. That's what it's called. You mastered that and have a new... Uh, nuclear weapon, which in Vietnam, uh, there was some happened. It was uh, Hiroshima, Hiroshima and Nagasaki was different, uh, which were hydrogen bombs. Was different. Now you're doing uh, what I've called the Mind Invasion Act. Uh, very well. We're going to find out who's really uh, schizo uh, schizo affected. Uh, Sheriff Duffy.
and how you need to grab my belongings and, and my whole body and take me anywhere, Sheriff Duffy. What's schizoaffective is that you are related to Charles Manson. I'm not. Keisha Marshall Brown, ABC News. Lake Avenue, New York. New York.